You just got to set it equal to 0. So for this example, um, we have x to the fourth minus 3x cubed plus 5x minus 6 times x plus 2 to the negative first power. Does that make it divided by? Yeah, because remember, guys, this is the same thing x plus, ne x plus 2 to the negative first is the same thing as 1 over x plus 2. So we can just rewrite this as over x plus 2. Instead of multiplying by raising to the negative first, we can just put that in the denominator. Now you guys can see that it's this polynomial divided by this polynomial. Does that make sense? How I write that? All right, so now by using synthetic division, we take our divisor and set it equal to 0. Again, we'll get more into the reasoning of this later. So you subtract 2, so we get x equals negative 2. Therefore, I put negative 2 on the outside. Because remember, you've got to set it equal to 0. Just, we'll work on that for right now. Then we take the coefficients of each term. Notice we're missing an x squared. So we can rewrite this as x to the fourth minus 3x cubed plus 0x squared plus 5x minus 6. Right? Remember, whenever you're missing a term, you've got to make sure you include that 0 as its coefficient. So therefore, we have 1, negative 3, 5, no, sorry, 1, negative 3, 0, 5, negative 6. Everybody follow? Which one is this? I don't know. 17. So now, first one, bring it down, 1. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. Negative 5 times 2 is a positive 10. 0 plus 10 is 10. 10 times negative 2 is negative 20. 5 plus negative 20 is going to be a negative 15. Negative 15 times negative 2 is a positive 30, leaving you a remainder of a positive 24. Right? So now it goes remainder, constant, linear. Uh, all right. Linear, quadratic, cubic. So my final answer is x cubed minus 5x squared plus 10x minus 15 plus your remainder divided by your divisor, which is x plus 2. Okay.